Hello and welcome to the MagnusI software. Today I would like to show you how to do a measurement of a sample with the um, inclusions. The sample image is like this, in which there are particles uh, inside. There's defects in the sample preparation, so these, the ideal case, we don't have ideal case when the particles are uh, the inclusions are totally uh, circular, so we see this kind of artifact because of the, the polishing. Uh, but that would be a good example uh, to kind of show how we can kind of uh, uh, deal with that. And the idea here is to measure the total the number density of the particle or inclusions in this sample. So I would uh, like to open this image inside the software, and then I choose a particle size app to do the measurement. Uh, first we have to uh, calibrate it. Uh, necessarily we don't want the calibration uh, bar to be in the image. We can uh, calibrate it with another image and then come back and use that calibration um, uh, for uh, for this image. But I call that up optical uh, 500x uh, maybe uh, here and then I specify the length of it. In this case we're doing it nonetheless on this image, uh, but uh, that will limit the field of view because we have to cut that part out of the image and we call that 200x, uh, so I save this and I choose that to do my calibrate, uh, my image analysis forward and now we have to select the area for analysis, now I'm going to get rid of this uh, particular feature here right up above the line uh, then I say next um, so now here I detect my particles or inclusions in this case with a simple threshold that is uh, good enough. I don't want uh, to go so much uh, deeper than this. So it's a very good selection of particles. There are of course other particles, other areas being detected that are not really inclusion. Now we have a chance to remove them later on depending on the size. So in this case you have to really judge what is, so these are the particles uh, but then there's the these objects that are of um, a millimeter, a, a few pixels diameter we don't want uh, these type of particles inside. So first filtering we do is remove objects by size. We need to modify detected phases and uh, in this case uh, I say okay the length of them below one pixel could be uh, go ahead, we could go ahead with it. A uh, bunch of particles being removed. I think these these sections, these dots are above one pixel. Now it's really your judgment that what you would like to measure. Uh, particles below basically three pixels uh, length is not accurate for measurement because if something is just three pixels, the diameter in an image wouldn't be uh, of accurate measurement. So in this case we remove those objects because d their di diameter would not be accurate if they're just only three pixels. So you have have a, you have, have a substantial number of pixels forming an object. Uh, then I have um, other cases in which my particles touching the border so I'm removing those particles as well. Remove objects that touch the border. In this case, these are removed as well. Now I am, for now, happy with this case. We will go forward, see what will happen to our report. Now let's generate an initial report, the software immediately, with a measurement. Now in this case, I have my phase. Uh, so here I have 245 objects being counted. And this is their circular diameter chart. That's what I'm looking for. So the average is 5 micron, and there are 245 of them. Uh, if I go closer, have a closer look, basically I can use my, my uh, browser zoom option because the report is in browser. So some of these are, of course, inaccurate for size detection. But the idea here for us is to calculate number density. So in this case, we would be fine to do the measurement um, without it, um, without the fact that because we just no need to know this number, which is 240, um, which is basically 200 and, um, 
45 particles. Now we need to know the area of the image. In this case, we go to another tool, so basically the measurement tool, and now we use the same calibration. We go forward. Now we need to know what is the total area of this image. So I use a rectangular object to put uh, one click here and one click at the end, the same area that I chose for my particle measurement. Um, now I have this font being a little bit tiny, so I can increase that, change font, something bigger, depending on the size of the image. And I can click somewhere else. Okay, so now my Im area is 129, 1,000,000 and 297,000 micrometers squared. So it's very easy to calculate now the, the area of the count of the object. So I basically divide 245 divided by uh, basically 1,295. So that is basically uh, the number density of the particle per micron squared. Now, of course, this number is too, hot, too small. If I want to have it per millimeter, then I multiply it by 1 E12, because each micro, I have two sides. So basically, I have um, 188 million inclusions per millimeter squared in my sample.